good morning friends welcome to the session here we are going to learn how to use resiliency 4j library so a resiliency 4j library is a fault tolerant library uh, which will have which has various functionalities in this session we are going to focus on rate limiting a rest api what is it what is meant by rate limiting for example, you have a REST API, you develop a REST API, but you want to limit the number of calls the REST API can handle. For example, in this use case, I have a greeting REST API. The greeting REST API is very simple. So when you call the greeting REST API, it is going to say hello world. That's what the REST API is. But I want to limit the number of requests that REST API can handle in a fixed time interval. That is called rate limit. Rate limit is limiting the number of requests that a API can handle. So in this use case, I have taken one simple REST API and the REST API is going to serve only five requests in one second. If the more requests are coming, if, if the requests are more than five, it is going to reject back, okay? So I'm going to explain you about the error codes and stuff. This functionality can be easily achieved in, in Spring Boot world, okay? with the library called uh, Resiliency 4J. Okay, Resiliency 4J has a module called rate limiting. We are going to use rate limit model and limit the number of requests that are going to be served by the REST API. Okay, so um, let, us, let us understand few terms. What is fault tolerant? So in a microservice landscape, right, when you have several microservices, Okay, if, if a particular microservice was having an issues, okay, either it is having an issue in slowness or whether it is having an issue on handling errors, okay, that shouldn't bring that entire system down. In the landscape of microservices, um, you know that, okay, a microservice application, we have several microservices. If a particular microservice is down, that entire application shouldn't be down. So uh, to, to achieve that functionality, we have several libraries like uh, Resiliency 4G or Hysterix from Netflix. Uh, in this session, we are going to see about a Resiliency 4G library. You know what is a rate limiting? Rate limiting is limiting the number of requests that a API can serve. So why do you need an external API? Why can't you just hard code? Why, got, why don't you just code it in your application? That's not the right pattern to follow because this is an additional functionality which you need, okay? So if, if some library provides you that, it's good, right? Why to code and SSL? You just focus on your business logic, okay? Then a few of you might be asking, why do you need a rate limiting? First of all, why do you need to limit the number of calls that your API can handle? There are various reasons, right? Your API cannot have infinite scale. It cannot serve thousands or billions or millions of customers, right? It needs to, you know, how many concurrent requests, how many requests it can handle. According to that, you limit the number of calls to your API. Okay, so that not only that, if you want to protect your API from denial of service attack or something like that, okay, someone, someone is attacking your services, if, if more number of requests come to your service from a hacker, automatically the system performance goes down and your service will experience the slowness, and your sub resources, like probably in your API, you are calling some database, it might be having issues. So uh, these, these were the needs uh, of a rate limiting your API. Okay, so I don't delve into those configurations. Let me go into the whiteboard, explain you a small scenario, and how do I achieve the rate limiting functionality in the API? I can do that, okay. So let me jump out to the whiteboard. Okay, so I, I have a, sorry for that, I, I have a REST API, then I have a browsers B1, B2, and BN. I, for simplicity sake, I said browsers, okay, are calling this REST API. 
okay so for a particular time interval i want to limit like for one second for one second it should it is capable of handling only five requests okay it is my api is after doing some profiling i i just set that limit okay if the sixth request comes in that one second i will reject that request so uh, there is a very nice way in http world to reject the too many requests we will send http 429 okay if too many requests are coming to the server if server rejects that request with 429 then the browsers understand that the server is busy and it will retry after some time so when you are sending uh, saying the re response with 429 this is a response code okay when i when you're responding with 429 then you will say you will give you a sign retry after how much i i forgot the exactly plan name but you need to say retry after uh, how many seconds if you say after one second you retry then after one second the, the customers will retry to use the api so if you want to write this entire logic on your own right it's 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 not easy to it's not an easy task okay it can be buggy as well so for us we have a nice library called resilience 4j which has a module called rate limiter okay we are going to use that module and achieve that functionality in this demo sake i used spring boot hello world application and it has a greeting api where i rate limit that api using uh, rate limiter so very simple like you you just annotate that's all annotate is like this is a greeting api on the top of it you just annotate you just protect with rate limiter api that's all that is what we are going to do okay so you understood right uh, let me this entire demo is is available in my github repository you can go to resilient cj for hello world this has a collection of few good patterns um, how can you protect your microservices or how can you make your microservices fault targeted one among them is a rate limiter okay this has all the steps uh, and a short video and everything okay uh, explaining the architecture and explaining the api okay so the first thing what i'm going to do is as usual git clone the repository i cloned the resiliency 4j hero over here so i cloned it then the standard pattern what we follow is maven clean install so build the code then start the rest api so i have if you see here right i have various demo examples which are covered in all these sessions okay when this is like rate limiting is one session in this tutorial now let me start a rate limiter let me start the api okay hello world api okay so java i can jar rate limiter target rate limiter target my api is up and it is listening on the port 8080 so it started and listening on the port 8080 now let us send request to it if you see i gave a jmx file i use jmeter to send the request to generate the load on the api it's very it's very easy to use a tool so i gave the jmx script you just import it so whatever the source code you just say file open you can use the jmx file what i gave in the github repository and it creates like this okay so then rate limiter okay the rest of modules i just disabled i just use only the rate limiter script so if you pay attention right i have only one client generating 10 requests so one client is fastly generating in a recursive fashion 10 requests okay so let me play so as per the concept out in one second only five requests are successful and all the five other five requests should be failed okay that is what right our api is capable of handling only five it will handle five 
and the rest of the five is api rejects it okay so let us see how, whether uh, that i can reproduce or not okay so let me clear the temporary results we were generated then run so http if results in it so roughly it accepted six requests and four requests were rejected back because of time and stuff okay so that's fine so the response if you see here right the response headers it said that it rejected okay and uh, and it it says that retry after one second so this is a one good pattern which while you are implementing the api you need to follow okay when you reject the too many requests you need to say when the client should retry so that he will be successful so the successful api response data is if you see uh, response data uh, response body it, the successful api returns hello world and the failed api says too many requests no further calls are accepted okay so when within a 5 minutes sorry within a second if more than 5 calls are, are coming to api we reject the sixth call and send a response saying too many request no further calls are accepted a message and along with a header saying that 429 is the status code and they should try after try after one second these are the two important flags when you are designing the api you need to take care okay so instead of you shouldn't send 200 or you need to use proper http status codes to do that okay so that's all you can see that four calls are rejected then let us jump into the code that simple it is rate limit is limiting number of requests in a particular time period here time period is one second we limited only five requests and rest of the requests are rejected so now let me uh, go back to the rate limiter code this simple spring boot based rest api application nothing complex in it now in the palm.xml these are the three dependencies you need to have one is like spring resiliency for just spring for spring boot 2 if you are using a spring boot to app you need to use this library then you need to use an actuator library and you need to use the aop library actuator library these all events right when a, uh, when a call was rejected you can monitor that with grafana and stuff I'm, I'm going to cover that this session is i want to keep it simple uh, so i didn't use any monitoring tool show, to show that uh, the rejection events and everything now pay attention to this code the whole crux is this this is my greeting api and nothing great about it i'm sending hello world with a name but i achieved the rate limit functionality with this line of code i didn't write anything so i said my rate limiter name is right greeting rate limiter the fallback method okay when a rate limiter generates an exception like when the rule is failed the rule is like within one second you need to get only five requests the five request role is paid then it goes to callback method okay the fallback method getting executed your actual method is not called okay this one thing you need to understand when the rule fails it goes to the fallback method so that your system resources are protected the fallback method it just sends an http code and response code. it won't do anything great okay so same thing like request not permitted exception is thrown in the callback method and i send the response okay so uh, when you go to application.yml this is what your rate limiter configurations okay my rate limiter name is greeting rate limiter or greeting rate limit okay which uses the default configurations limit for period okay the number of calls per period is only five the what's the period one second the period is one second the time out duration time out is duration when a request comes right it it shouldn't wait any time so it, it has to get executed so this is what time out duration so i said time out duration is zero so that when sixth call comes right it need not to wait until this time is 
well audit it should be it should be immediately given response or it should give an exception so time out duration is the amount of a time that the request should wait there is no waiting i said zero the reason is the call comes and if the rule failed an exception is thrown back so this is what the rate limiter is and the this is what the rate limiter code very simple you just do one annotation uh, we uh, we get that functionality okay so and this is a pom.xml i think hope this uh, did i miss anything yeah that that's about the rate limiter thing okay uh, what is the rate limiter module and those configurations only you need to remember one thing is like this simple annotation or decorator pattern the decorator pattern we call right we we did we added that rate limit as a decoration over our greeting api which is very good library uh, you can easily achieve that functionality using resiliency 4j uh, thank you very much